Hi, welcome to this video on Java introduction. In this video, we'll have a look at introduction to programming. Then we'll go through the Java programming language. Then we'll write a first hello world program. And then we'll actually write a program on programmer.com and see how it runs. First of all, tell me something. When your mom wants to get something done, what does she do? She basically tells you what to do. If she wants you to go out to the store and get a packet of chips, then she'll basically tell you to go out to the store, give you some money and ask you to get the exact packet of chips. So similarly, if you want the computer program, if you want the computer to do something for you, you'll have to give it a set of instructions. These are the instructions which will tell the computer what to do. So you will give it something as input and it will give you the output. In our example, what your mom told to you was the input and when you finally went to the store, bought the packet of chips and gave it back to your mom, that was the output which you did. Similarly, you will give something as input to the computer and it will give you an output. Now, try to think of a calculator. So, when you type 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus minus 2 on your calculator, it basically prints 9 on the screen. So, what you typed was the input and what got printed on the screen was the output. So similarly for a computer the program is a set of instructions. These instructions basically have these instructions basically tell the computer what to do and you give some input and it will give you back the output. Now one good thing about Java is that Java program runs on the Java virtual machine regardless of the computer architecture. So even if you have a Mac or a Windows PC or even a mobile which has the Java virtual machine or the JVM installed then basically you will be able to run your Java programs. Now Java is class based and it's object oriented language. These terms might sound big to you right now but don't worry about them just understand it's an object oriented programming language and because of this we can come to this point that you can write your code once on a machine whether it be a Linux machine Mac Windows or anything and you can run it anywhere and one important thing to know about is that Java was developed by James Gosling at Sun Microsystems Now what you are seeing on the screen might scare you a little bit but don't worry focus on this part so first of all understand that every program you write comes under a class so we are writing our first class as hello as of now don't worry about class don't worry about what is there just focus this is the class whatever you will write will come under brackets which is in the class hello hello this is the opening bracket of the class and this is the closing bracket for the class so whatever will come will come under this and your class will have a main method so whatever your compiler will execute it will start from the main method so it will go to your class and it will look for the main method and it will start executing there. Now main is written as this public started static void main with string args these square brackets under brackets of the main. And then your main starts from here till here. Just mug up this line as of now. Don't worry about it. It is not as bad as, as it seems. You'll as you practice you'll get to know more. So 
but understand this whatever execution you want to do just write it under main your compiler will first look for the main method and start executing from there so now this statement prints hello world to your output screen so system dot out dot print length prints hello hello world so for example if you want to print something else say u s a then instead of hello world just replace it with u dot s dot a so let us now actually write this program and run it and see how it looks let us proceed to programmer.com what you are looking at is programmer.com here you can actually write your code directly in the browser and run it so we actually created our class hello and in the class we wrote the main method as i told you anything which you write in the main method is what will be executed so they have also written system dot out dot print line hello world now say you want to print united states of america you'll click on run it will basically compile your code and run it so it has printed united states of america on the screen let let us switch it back to hello world and we'll run our program it will print hello world on the screen so understand this system dot out dot print line is to print something on the screen and whatever you write in this double quoted double quotes will be printed on the screen and just just remember that you have to write your instructions inside the main so now let us see that what is written here they say that you have just landed on mars now you have to modify the program below such that it prints out hello mars so let us first try to submit it with hello world and click on test my code now it says that the expected output is hello mars but our output is hello world so we just have to edit this to mars and add an exclamation mark here and then we have to run it just ignore the error we'll just run it again and it will print hello mars that error appeared because i entered some random characters here and the compiler did not understand them so if i enter again some random characters here and try to run it i'll get an error that it expected a semicolon understand that each statement in java ends with a semicolon now i'll remove this characters and run it it has printed hello mars now let us submit it so see our solution is correct our expected output was hello mars and we have submitted the output great we have written our first program let us now summarize what we have learned so far we have learned that computer programs are set of instructions that java programs run on the java virtual machine or the jvm that there is a class for each program you write there is a class and there is a main method residing inside the class and this is where you will write your instructions and we also had to look that system dot out dot print in text is the statement which outputs text to the console and remember that every statement in java ends with a semicolon